Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Well, it's unclear when the legal battle between a small southwestern Indiana town and an international aluminum producer could move forward. Alcoa wants to reopen its smelter in Warwick County and bring an estimated 275 jobs back to the area. But to do that, the company says it must expand its mining operations near Boonville. Residents say they're okay with the idea, but only if the company agrees to honor their requests. Reporter Brock Turner is here with more, and Brock, this dispute is really now caught up in court. That's right, Joe. Boonville City Council recently approved an ordinance that bans explosives for mining within three miles of the city limits. Alcoa responded by filing a lawsuit. What happens in the case could set a precedent for other Indiana communities. Ron Nelson considers this neighborhood an escape. We move here for Mother Nature, uh, peace and quiet. Uh, I mean, it's not unusual to see eagles flying or landing by the lake or landing in a field. When he and his wife moved to Lakeshore Drive three years ago, he knew there were mines nearby. But he never imagined he could one day find one just a few hundred feet from his front door. So basically they're going to clear out all this area, mine it. You know, we're going to have nothing, no view of but anything but big trucks and a bunch of dirt. Alcoa wants to expand its current operations at Liberty Mine by 3,600 acres. Nelson and other members of his neighborhood have concerns about how that could impact their health and property values. I currently live right here, so I'm one of the two lucky ones uh, that will have the mine on both on two of the four sides of me. Uh, this gentleman down here will be as well. Neighbors formed a group called Save Our Homes LLC. That's in response to the expansion proposal, and they have come up with a list of demands. We are asking for a thousand feet from the property line. Um, in each direction as a buffer and to leave it, you know, the trees there. They also want Alcoa to increase the buffer zone in select areas to 800 feet, install three additional seismic monitors, and modify their insurance claims process. According to an email obtained by Nelson, Alcoa agreed to those stipulations, but only if Boonville repealed its mining ordinance and approved permits and authorizations to operate the mine. Boonville Mayor Charlie Wyatt sees the issue from both sides, he spent 41 years working for Alcoa in Warwick County, and he knows the impact mining can have on the local economy. But he says the safety of citizens shouldn't be compromised. I prayed every day that that smelter was shut down, that something would happen for these people and for Warwick County, because it's a big impact. We are not against that. Wyatt says Alcoa can expand its operations, but he too wants them to sign the original agreement. I'm just ashamed of where we're at right now. It, it makes me think it's a failure where you can't come together and work this, work this solution out rather than run into the courts. Alcoa's Director of Internal and External Communications, Jim Beck, says the company continues to work with homeowners and hopes to reach a solution that is fair for all involved. It's just simply that we believe the ordinance violates Indiana law and inappropriately attempts to supersede the authority that belongs with the state. But back on Lakeshore Drive, Nelson and his neighbors can only wait. They're worried about how the case will pan out, and they say it's indicative of a larger problem. At one point, people should come before the money in corporate America. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Brock Turner. There's a proposal at the State House that could have a big impact on this dispute. Republican Representative Jeff Ellington authored a bill that prohibits local governments from regulating the extraction of natural resources. And an amendment to the bill could mean that it applies to mining. Legislators referred the bill to, to the Senate Natural Resources Committee. As for the legal dispute between the city and Alcoa, the next court appearance is set for March 14th. Something we'll definitely keep an eye on. Thank you very much, Brock. And